The skyline in this inner city neighborhood of Syracuse, New York, is pierced by the spires of a red brick building, crescents having replaced crosses staring toward the heavens. This building is now known as Masjid Isa ibn Maryam, or the Mosque of Jesus, Son of Mary. Until four years ago, it was called the Holy Trinity Church. Walk inside and a verse from the Quran engraved in wood reads, Allah will forgive everyone, regardless of their sins. I always say that these walls were waiting to hear the Quran for a hundred years, and that's kind of the sense I had right from the very beginning. Yusuf Sol has been a part of this church to mosque journey from the beginning. He admits it was not easy to hear Islam's call to prayer, the Adhan, echo in a church. There are some people who are very angry and upset. People who I never saw before were angry at me personally, because I um, people put me a little bit in front being an American. Built in the early 20th century, Holy Trinity served a growing population of German and Italian immigrants. Many were baptized, married, and buried there. But changing demographics doomed Holy Trinity. Parishioners moved from the city to the suburbs, replaced by a new wave of immigrants and refugees, many of whom were Muslim. We broke bread with many different groups, and eventually um, they, were, they were at peace and at ease with the idea of this becoming a mosque. In 2010, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Syracuse closed the church as part of a regional reconfiguration. Although others were willing to pay three times the price to turn the church into a bar, it was sold to a Muslim group for much less money, so God could still be worshipped in a house of God. And then the rehabilitation of the building started. Pews were removed, its wood used to fix the floor, thousands of crosses on the walls were redesigned or painted over. The crosses on the spires were replaced and saved as precious reminders of the building's past. We still need to uh, raise some funds and replace those lights because it is a bit dark in here. This mosque is different than others in the area because there is not a separate room or wall separating men and women. There is no designated imam or a person to call for the prayers. The idea is the mosque belongs to everyone and anyone can call for or lead the prayer. Even 14-year-old Sajjad Samir from Afghanistan. Uh, I always practice with myself and uh, uh, people in the mosque encouraged me to give azan. And um, I started giving azan for like a few days. Refugees from several countries live near this mosque. But it serves a community beyond just the Muslims. So they uh, really do see themselves as serving the entire neighborhood from a food pantry open to all uh, to picnics and summer events and other uh, things. So they really are wonderful community partners who want to serve the entire community, not just uh, the members, the Muslim community locally. Yusuf Soul says, do not believe everything you see in the media because contrary to some perceptions, America has an incredible amount of welcoming people who embrace diversity and love people for who they are. Sabah Shahan, VOA News, Syracuse, New York. Okay. So,